so big. I it looks bigger when compared to me. I <laughs> And welcome back to my channel. My name is Jason and today we have an unboxing that is bonkers bananagrams. <laughs> this thing we're gonna unbox, it's it's so ridiculous. It couldn't I couldn't do it in just a TikTok or a reel or a short. It had to be its own whole video. Like it's that <laughs> It's that crazy. Okay, so let me like paint the picture for you. Okay, let me give you the little prologue to this story. So if you watch my short content, you know that I recently found Mini Brands books, which if you know Mini Brands are like tiny versions of actual human sized things. And I bought a couple and I unboxed them on my channel and those videos did really, really well. So the company that makes Mini Brands, Zuru, they reached out to me via email and they were like, hey, we love what you do. We'd love to send you some Mini Brands books. We think you, you know, we want to send you some. And the word some <laughs> to me, means like a few, like here's five balls of books, the mini books, here you go. <laughs> Flash forward to me getting this delivered in my mail. Look at the size of this box. You could fit a person in here. And my, my whole jaw hit the floor because this is not a few mini brands books, all right? This is an entire case. This is a tiny mouse library's worth of mini brands books. Okay, so like these are the balls and each one of them comes with four books and some of them have extras. Like some of them will have like bookmarks or little magnifying glasses or all sorts of things of, of that nature. And you can see like some of the options of books that we might get. Here is the back little bookshelf. Here's a little top that you can just reach in and grab one or put one's back. I don't know what that's for. So we're gonna head over my table. I'll set up the camera so you can get super up close and personal, really see these little books. And bonus, I actually have a little mini bookshelf already that I got for the ones that I have. I'm gonna take everything off of this and we're gonna see if we can fill it up completely with the books from that box. I don't know if we're gonna open all of them today. Like how many even come in a box? It doesn't say, it doesn't even want you to know. Anyway, come join me at the table. Let's open some mini brands books. We are all set up and it is time to open some books. So here is our first one. So like I said before, each of these comes with four books. There are 40 plus to collect. Wow, this first one is proving a struggle to open. Look at that, that's horrible. All right, so first wrapper comes off, then the next wrapper. Uh, these do use a lot of plastic, but you know, we recycle it and then we actually keep these balls. I don't know what we're gonna use them for, but we're gonna find, we're gonna find something. All right, first set of books, let's see what we got. Now it does come with a little guide to show you all of the books that are in the set. I'm gonna save this and show it to you at the end because I want us to be surprised, but I will show it to you. Hopefully I remember to do that so that you know what books can be in here. All right, first one, first book of the day. Oh, we got a hardcover. Okay, so we got, this is Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I actually don't have this one at all. So this is your first time seeing them. They are tiny. Uh, you have the spine, you have the back, and then you can open the front page and you can see this. The only page of the book that is actually readable is the first page. Everything after that is like lorem ipsum, so you can't actually read it. So the first page is readable but uh, that is it. So that is our first book. Just gonna sit him over here, lean him right against there. We also need to keep an eye out because some of these have bookmarks and magnifying glasses and other fun things. So our next one is, oh my God, it starts with us. I've gotten a couple of these. Listen, I am probably never gonna be someone who reads Colleen Hoover. I've never read one. I don't plan to read one. And no matter how many tiny versions of her books I get, I, it's not gonna change my mind, all right? You hear me, mini brands? It's not gonna change my mind. Number three, this is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Last Straw. I've never read any of these, but I've heard a lot of people really, really like them. I like that it actually has some of the illustrations in there. And then you have the back and the spine. And this one actually comes with one of the bookmarks. So we got this bookmark that has like a little map on it, which is super cute. This one is big. What is this? Hold on. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Oh! <gasps> Y'all, it's, are you, it's like a little bookshelf? Is it, oh, oh my God, look, I've never seen. It's a little bookshelf. Oh my goodness. Hold on, let me see, let me see if I can build this really quick. Okay, so this was all I was actually able to make. You can actually make a whole like bookshelf, but you have to collect multiple of them. So for now, we have one little, one little baby book case and we'll just set him over here. <laughs> all right, on to ball number two. Let's see what we get. Hopefully this one's easier to open. See, that's how they're supposed to open. I don't know what was up with that first ball. He was being, he was being a whole bunch of drama. I'm actually gonna open this one first because it looks like we got another one of the bookcases, which is pretty exciting. 
so we can actually stack them now. Look at that. See, now we are talking. Like, this is like a proper bookshelf. Okay, I feel good about that. All right, first book of this ball. Looks like a hardcover. Ooh, okay, this is Black Beauty. All right, wow, this little book. I, I want to read this. I want to have the actual size of this on my shelf. So pretty. Okay, there's the inside cover. And we got another one of our little map bookmarks. We have, oh my God, the Vampire Diaries. Look at that man on the cover. Oh my goodness. Little inside cover peek for you. And finally, we've got, no, no, ma'am. We got two of you now, my goodness. I'm telling you, I'm not reading you, no matter how many times you show up here. All right, ball number three. Maybe the reason I'm so bad at opening these is that I don't really have nails. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 there's like a whole... Oh, we got one of the uh, magnifying glasses. Okay, so we got Roald Dahl's The BFG. That is very cute. I'll let you see everything here. Uh, and then we also got a little magnifying glass for being able to read these. Oh, that's fun. Look at that. That's cute. Next up, we got... Oh, my God. I was obsessed with these as a kid. This is Banicula. Um... I was so into these as a kid. I wonder if the Banicula books hold up. I kind of want to read one now. I'm like curious. Okay, so we got another bookmark. This is the Mini Brands bookmark. And then we got, oh, Goosebumps, Night of the Living Dummy. I also haven't read Goosebumps in a long time, but I used to really like these as a kid as well. And then I think I got more bookshelf. Yeah? Oh yeah, more bookshelf. Look at that. I'm going to keep it in here right now because I don't want to build another one. I mean, I kind of want to just keep stacking onto this and see how high our bookshelf could get. That might be hilarious. Or I could start a second one. I don't know. What should I do? <laughs> All right. Onwards and upwards we go. Fun fact, I've just been throwing the trash on the floor and it's starting to get a little insane. So cleaning that is going to be a hot mess. <laughs> All right. I can already tell this is another bookshelf. So I'm going to set him with my other one. It's funny. I've like never seen the bookshelves before and now I'm seeing so many of them. Um, oh no. Oh wait, this is different. This is a different, but now we have, uh, I mean, it's all the same, really. Really, when it comes to Colleen, it's all the same. I'm getting an overwhelming amount of Colleen Hoover books. I don't like it. Uh, we have Roald Dahl's Matilda. Very cute. Here's the back. Quick peek inside. And last one of this one, we got another Diary of a Wimpy Kids, but it is different than the one we got before. So we're just getting the whole collection. Pretty soon, I'll just be able to read them in, in miniature form. That'll be fun. Maybe it's the humidity. Maybe the humidity is making these hard to open. Ooh, that was smooth. More bookshelf. We'll set that off to the side. Oh, we have a new bookmark. So this is another mini brands bookmark, uh, but this one is in purple. And then we have, oh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but this is the one we just got. So this is a uh, double. Oh my God, Colleen, get, get, Colleen, get out of here. Get out of here. It's like a little weird that there's so much Colleen Hoover in this like toy that, what, what, why, why, why is this so much of her? Why? Please help. Imagine your kiddo having a collection of like 15 mini Colleen Hoover books. That sounds like a nightmare. Well, pretty soon we're gonna have more tiny bookshelves than I have actual bookshelves. Please, no more Colleen Hoover. Please, no more Colleen Hoover. Okay, okay, this is Stranger Things. Uh, Darkness on the Edge of Town. Ooh, a novelization based on the Netflix show, based on the show by Netflix. That's exciting. I almost like threw this one away because the book inside is so thin. Oh, it's another Goosebumps. There we go, The Haunted Mask. Oh, this has some instructions. So there's, oh, oh my, oh my goodness. Okay, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. All right, a little Wonka action. And then of course we got another little magnifying glass. Oh my gosh, I finally opened one correctly. Boop. Okay, we have gotten a bevy of bookshelves. So many bookshelves. I opened that one a little just because I thought this can't be another bookshelf, but sure it is. Okay, all right, we got another Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. We got another Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Oh my, why? Why? No one needs this mini. No one. Why? I, why? Oh, and also we got this little red bookmark. At the end, I'm going to quickly look and see if, uh, how close we are to having the full collection. I mean, we definitely have a full collection of Colleen Hoover books. That's for sure. More bookshelf. All right. And we got, uh, Goosebumps. This is Deep Trouble. And then we even got a little blue bookmark to go with it. And then we got, oh, another Stranger Things. This is Suspicious Minds. This is the one we already got. No, these are different. This is the darkness at the edge of town. And this is Suspicious Minds. We have two different ones. And in here, we've got, oh, another uh, little magnifying glass and another Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. See, this I don't mind having multiples of. Boop. Oh, my God. So for those keeping track, we have got a lot of bookshelf. Oh, my God. That is wild. Okay, so we have another Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Then we have... Oh, the burn book. Okay, so this is kind of fun. This is um, obviously for Mean Girls and there's no, it's just notebook. 
inside so you could have your own little tiny burn book. Imagine writing about how much you hate your friends in that tiny little book. That would be kind of funny. Uh, and then we have another diary of a wimpy kid. Boop, bookshelf. All right, first up, we have got, oh, Night of the Living Dummy. I think we already got that one. Yes, we did. Then we've got, oh, we had a bookmark just fall out. We have a new, that we don't have this one, Diary of the Wimpy Kid. This is the blue, the blue book. <laughs> the blue book, as if it doesn't have a name. It's the blue one. We also got another little bookmark. And we got another Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Some of these, I feel like we're just getting tons of. We're gonna have a whole library. I cannot. Another Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Another little map bookmark. We got another burn book. And here we have, oh, the, the Twits. I don't think we have this one yet. I'm pretty sure we don't have this one yet. There's the inside, give you a little sneak peek. And the back. We're getting towards the last few. I would really appreciate less shelves and less Colleen Hoover and more things we don't have yet. All right, first up, we have, oh, we do not have this yet. Oh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Okay, okay, see, I willed this into the universe. Wow, that's pretty. I want that, I want like the big version of that. <laughs> okay, we have another Stranger Things. And here we have, oh, get, go, please, go somewhere else, Colleen. I just want you to imagine the incredible amount of trash on my floor right now. I just want you to really picture it. We now have enough shelving to open a Barnes and Noble. We've got another Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. We have another burn book. And we've got Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Now we do have one of these already, but this is only our second one. I think this is the first Diary of a Wimpy Kid book. Bookshelf, of course. We have another Vampire Diaries. We've got, oh, Matilda. I can't remember, I think we got one Matilda already, but things are getting so chaotic over there. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> and then last but not least, we've got another Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Boop. If you guessed bookshelf, you were right. We've got a little bookmark. I don't know when this fell out of something, but it's sitting here. <laughs> Open this guy up. We've got, oh, this is, I think this is a different Vampire Diaries than we got before. It is. And then we've also got a little bookmark to go with it. We've got another Stranger Things. Then we've got another Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and another little magnifying glass. All right, we've only got a few of these left. Y'all, the bookshelf situation is... Like, I wish I could show you. They're just, there's so many. There's so, at the start of this, I was like, what if we don't get another one? And now I'm like, please, please, sir, no more bookshelves. All right, this is Night of the Living a Dummy. Then we've got this lady who just will not let me live my life. And then, oh, I think we might have already gotten this one, but I really can't remember. This is a Christmas Carol. Very nice, very cute, I love this, so cute. All right, I already see a bookshelf. And then we've got, ma'am, ma'am, get out of here. I cannot believe how many of her there are. Oh, and then we got another Alice Adventures in Wonderland, still like this. And then we got, ooh, this is new, Holiday Inn. See, this is a sign, I really wanna read these. Uh, and this, opening these is make me want to read them more. So this would probably be a good time to tell you where you can get these. Uh, now, obviously, as I mentioned, this was sent to me by Zuru. The ones that I opened before on my channel, I found at Target. I've heard some people have found them at Walmart, and I also have heard people tell me they found them at Kmart. I don't, if you have a Kmart near you, oh, that magnifying glass is on the floor. Oops. <laughs> and then we have another Matilda. I never thought as a reader I could get tired of, ooh, Bunicula. I never thought as a reader I could be tired of getting bookshelves, but I am tired of getting bookshelves, y'all. And we got Vampire Diaries. Really, no one, no one needs this many bookshelves. Another Matilda. Look at that pile of books. That looks insane. <laughs> this is another Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. We are down to the last two. Now there are four books in every ball, which means it is possible that we could get eight more Colleen Hoover books. That would be so sad. Is Colleen Hoover popular on booktube? Like, I know she's popular on TikTok, but are people going to come for me in the comments for making fun of her so much on booktube? I don't even know. I can't, I can't close this. Get out of here. Bloop. All right. We got some more wimpy kids. I if I could like donate some of those wimpy kid books somewhere. I mean, I know they're not readable, but we got another burn book, but I feel like kids would like them and you know as toys i feel like there's got to be a place where i can take some of those right i should look into that and then we have matilda and finally we're at our last one now i need you all to pray for me that we don't get more colleen hoover please please i mean i don't want any more colleen hoover i really don't need any more wimpy kids unless it's one we don't already have uh i don't need any more vampire diaries i don't need any more pride and prejudice and zombies i'm good i'm good oh i really don't need any more bookshelves let me tell you I've never needed less bookshelves in my life. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. So we already got a bookshelf, <laughs> which means that all three of these are probably Colleen Hoover. Uh, all right, first one is a wimpy kid. <laughs> Next one is probably Colleen Hoover. Let's just, let's just, it is, it is, it is, 
It is. And last one is probably the other Colleen Hoover book. Oh no, it's it's Twits. We only have one of these, so that's fine. <laughs> now I did promise I would show you all the little uh, fold outs so you can see all the ones you can get. So this starts at Legendary. Uh, so actually that, um, that Goosebumps that we got a couple of is the Legendary one. We got the Iconic one. We did not get a single one of these. Not a single one. All right, so then Ultra Rare. I don't think these are Ultra Rare. I do not accept that because we got a billion of those. Um, then here we have, these are rare. These are rare. Absolutely not. Look at, look at all the things we didn't get. Like I'm very, I'm shocked. Okay. And then on the back, we have the commons. I mean, obviously, yes. Uh, but surprisingly, there are some of these we did not see a single one of, which is wild. And then there's all of the bookmarks and then there's the shelf as well. I know we have a billion of these, but I'm going to put them all on my cute little rainbow shelf and we're going to see if we can fill it up. I know you guys are going to hate this, but... In the interest of time, I'm not going to organize these in any way. I'm just going to put them on the bookshelf <laughs> and it's going to be, you're going to hate it, okay? It's, it's not organized by anything, not by color, not by author, not by anything. I mean, I probably would have been better off just putting one of each thing on it, but it's fine. So up here, we just have a wimpy kid party. Then we'll put down here will be the corner of... Colleen Shame. She can sit down here and think about what she did. We'll add some zombies to that on the off chance that maybe they'll get her. All right, all right, that feels full to me. It almost feels like I've had better luck getting um, stuff that I haven't gotten before, just getting random ones of these because opening an entire box, I feel like I got so many things, like so many repeats of things within the box, which is wild. You know what's kind of crazy? I feel like the, all the books we got are gonna just perfectly fit this actually. <laughs> I feel like there's just like a graveyard of bookshelves and bookmarks on my table right now. <laughs> okay, so it didn't fit everything. Oh, great. Good, good job. Fall down. Uh, it didn't fit everything and it didn't fit the entire shelf, but I do have quite a few that I've already opened that I can put in here that will, that will fill it up. And then luckily I have 90 bajillion of these <laughs> for any leftovers. And what's crazy is like, oh, I, no, I guess they're about the same size. I mean, this one is a little bit bigger, but they'll, they'll probably fit perfectly. Uh, but this is so cute. I mean, look at the colors. It's just, it's so fun. I almost turned it upside down that it would have, everything would have fallen. Oh, look at that. I'm going to go put that on my bigger bookshelf. I'll have my little baby bookshelf on my big bookshelf. It'll be so cute. Y'all, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to, I'm going to go open a library for Barbies. <gasps> it was meant to be. That's why I wore this today because my destiny was to open a library for Barbies and small mice. Just only those two people though. Just those two. That's all I want. <laughs> As always, make sure to like and subscribe so you can see when I post new videos. Down below, I'm going to put the links to Easy Cat's Book Club and my Discord, which are both free to join. I'll also put the link to Easy Cat Press, my bindery community, where you can help support my content creating journey, as well as get exclusive content. And if you made it to the end of this video, I would love to know if you could have a tiny version of any book in the world, which one would you choose and why? Thank you again for watching and happy reading. <laughs>